Hello, Jay. <laughs> I, I had a... Like with Pistoulet, I had a vision. I had a vision of making these bell-shaped women. Women-shaped bells? I'm not sure. But uh, I like the idea of a surprise inside of a sculpture, so I like the idea that people have outer beauty and inner beauty. Uh, they're made in both reduction and oxidation kilns, meaning some are gas kilns, some are electric, and in a gas kiln you can produce very lovely um, earth tones, but you never know what, it's a surprise. Every time you take it out of the kiln, if you want more specific colors, like, uh, uh, well, I think they're not on the table right now. <laughs> oh no, well like this, for instance, like the, the very bright red. That comes from producing it in an electric kiln. Uh, it's a lower fire. They're all stoneware, various different types, levels of stoneware clay, and they're done through a process of molding, then bisking, firing, and then turning them actually into a bell. That looks great. Okay. Okay. Now, do they have different rings? Yes, each different one. Like, you have a little tinkly kind of sound, and then you have a bigger one. I also like the idea of mixing nature with the clay, because they're all organic materials. So this one you can actually put flowers in. This has a heavier sound, and then this, this one, the biggest. So it's over a matter of um, days. When they need to dry, when you make, when you work with clay, it has to dry, and then it gets bisked, and then it gets glazed, and then it gets fired again. So there's, so it's hours going to each one. Do you have the kilns at your home? Or? Uh, I work in two different studios. Uh, I actually like working with other people, and you know, I learn and get ideas from other people because I'm not um, a, a, initially. A, I didn't train as a ceramicist, it's only more recently that I've become involved in ceramics, so I think it's important to be with people and you get ideas from other people and learn. Okay. $18. So it's a little bit better. 